I think when I got injured, I did my shoulder and the doctor said, oh, you'll be out for about six or seven months. And I was like, well, oh, it's pretty long. But to sort of be on the sidelines and watching the boys and be able to miss what, what you love doing um, is quite tough. And I guess that's why we're here today to talk to you guys about sort of reaching out as you do need help. I know that these boys have been through it as well. They all get a help. It's a sort of livelihood and everything like that. So sort of worked out in a good way. Um, I had a baby due in October last year. So perfect time. I just got out of my own boot a week before she arrived. So <laughs> it was pretty good. Chuck your hand up if you had an injury. That when you're injured, you had times where you felt a bit shitty or a bit down? I guess, especially coming to this environment, I was kind of like, you know, overwhelmed a bit with all um, everything I had to learn in a short uh, time, but um, Nani, Sam Wallop, they could see the nerves on my face before the game uh, warming up, but uh, they were just telling me, oh bro, it's just another game. Like, don't, they don't think about um, the occasion, just think about your job. A few strategies that helped help me were having a real support network to be aware of those emotions and, and to be able to get them off your chest and talk about them. Set a week aside at a time, um, look at what you need to do for that week, whether it's rehab or where your focus is, and just cutting it right back, and you can just tick little boxes off at a time.